The most important thing to have, I believe, in this kind of journey is to have a goal, a sense of purpose of what is it that you want to achieve and what is it that you, a, more, a most compelling purpose. And this is the important source of energy. You needed powerful energy, you needed unrelenting perseverance, you need unwavering determination. Having clarity in the vision and having the conviction in the vision for the future is the key ingredient. And driven by the opportunity to build an institution that would have future resilience. And this is what we want to do. We've heard in the first session how building is what you want to do for the future. Of course, as a career central banker for more than three decades, I'm fiercely passionate about the business. And build the emotional resilience to persevere. Some of the work that we do may take years, especially in the area of collaboration with other parts of the world, whether it's the Asian region or the Middle East in Islamic finance or with the world at large. And sometimes these results, results have yet to emerge. The transformation of our bank involved changing the way of living in the bank of the 2,700 staff workforce that we had to become strategically aligned to the objectives. When we sat around in a retreat, more than 100 of us, to discuss what is the mandate of the bank what is it that we want to achieve? So many suggestions were put forward. And at the end of two days, everyone thought, how are we ever going to put it all together? Well, the, what you see on the screen is a mind map that I drew, bringing all the ideas together to say that this is what we are going to work towards achieving. And everyone needed to be aligned to it, whether you were doing supervision or whether you were doing managing reserves or whether you were managing the economy. Everyone had to know what they could contribute to these outcomes. Then we applied technology so that we would be highly connected within the organization and with the external world around us. This was also a massive change. Then we adopted a different approach to managing talent. Some of them who didn't have the inclination for the new environment had to leave. The governance process was changed and that governance process affected me significantly in that decision-making was no longer by a single decision-maker. Major decisions were made by committees. The Monetary Policy Committee. Previously, the governor just called a few people, or there could be a meeting, an ad hoc meeting, and they would discuss whether interest rates should be raised or reduced. Well, we changed that. There's a specific Monetary Policy Committee then there was it's a financial stability committee, and so on. The decision-making process became more collegial. For me, I always was and still am a good listener. I used to listen to everybody's views, and I encourage diversity in the group. 
course, we change our approach to working. Every important piece of work had a cross-functional team. It was no longer by specific departments. Everyone who used to work in silos, breaking that silo mentality was very challenging, but there's tremendous collaboration across the organization now, and it's enhanced our decision-making process, the output, the quality of our output 